fellow gamers and welcome to True Valorant News. I'm your host, True Fan. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. So within the last 24 hours, a lot of news has finally dropped inside the Valorant roster mania, as well as some updates inside the game. First off, we're going to be starting with the updates in the game. The new Crimson Be Beast skin line will be released later today and it will include the marshal the sheriff the vandal the judge and the warhammer knife essentially the way it's gonna look every time you get a kill the gun will have its own little animation but then after that there's no gun effects or anything like that uh, i think the knife looks really cool it's like a little little mini warhammer inside your right hand definitely a skin that i would pick up in my night market but i personally wouldn't buy it moving over to patch notes 5.07 so this was officially released yesterday and we covered it a little bit but what i forgot to cover was the collection update that was inside of it so now you can mark weapon skins by its premium the player cards sprays gun buddies and level borders so now you have the option to favorite specific items and you can also do random favorite for every weapon type that you have Riot will change the weapon skins for you without you having to do it manually which i think is pretty cool also with patch 5.07 is the remodel of fracture and the agent changes with reyna yoru ko and sky i think these are all really great changes uh the only one that i'm a little bit upset with is the reyna flash and how fast she can pull out the gun it's kind of ridiculous that she could throw the flash and have her gun out in the same exact moment with no punishment but other than that i think everything else in this patch was pretty great i played a little bit of fracture yesterday the changes are somewhat okay it's gonna get a little bit getting used to but i think the drop changes and this was 100 needed in this patch also what has been leaked for the coming patches is the tournaments are getting getting ready to launch inside the game so if you're a player and you're not inside the pro scene you are able to compete in these tournaments similar to rocket league and you're able to earn points and you need to have a minimum level to play into these tournaments with that being said you'll be placed in the division split by different numbers being d1 d2 etc going on um i think this is going to be really exciting hopefully there's some in-game rewards that you can earn or that you could possibly uh get some older buddies or player cards i think that would be really cool or just overall earning some more radiantite points i feel like the game right now is lacking in radiantite points earnings uh because you can only really get them in a battle pass or you could spend 50 bucks just to get 30 to 40 radiantite points which is really ridiculous because the radiantite points is what you need to upgrade the skins so hopefully inside the tournament era you can get radiantite points to upgrade your skins for free Moving over to the EMEA region, I find this news very sad. Uh, Team Vitality is deciding to let go of Batty G and let him explore his options. Uh, Batty G is one of the controller players there. I think he did really well, honestly. And when he went to go fill in for FPX during the stage one masters, uh, he did really good um, being able to substitute in for artists and for Angel. Being that Smokes player sent a lot of people who had COVID and were sick and he performed really well. Um, I'm not sure who Vitality seems to be uh, replacing them with because I feel like Batty G fit that core pretty well. But moving on from that, I hope Batty G finds a team in the tier one scene because he was really great last season. Some more interesting news in EMEA is Team Liquid. The rumored roster is set to be Nats, Redgar, Safe, Yompi, Soulcast, and Demasic. Um, I think this is going to be a really great roster. There was some rumors of Demasic possibly leaving, but this is the way it would stand right now is Nats and Redgar and Safe have most likely been confirmed and Yampi and Soulcast are still yet to be confirmed to stay on the roster. I think Nats, Redgar, and Safe are going to be pretty good on the team. Uh, Safe would be your chamber and jet player. Nats and Redgar would be controller sentinels or uh, pretty much Redgar can flex on, uh, on initiator if he had to. Speaking of Team Vitality again, uh, former Misfits coach Carter will be Team Vitality's coach heading into the 2023 season. So this is probably explaining why Batty G was dropped from the team because he has some other plans on players coming into the roster. Um, hopefully uh, Coach Carter can make the Vitality team somewhat successful this first coming season but i'm really excited to see uh the future of the teams 
that are building around the coaches and not just the players. Moving over to some super interesting news is the Sentinels from uh, from North America. So inside this video, they pretty much explain that they have some ideas going into it and it's not going to look sexy, but it's going to get them to wins. And I'm really excited to see how Psycho and Kaplan really build this team. There's a lot of rumors going around for players coming in and players leaving. So let's go on ahead and dive right into that. The players that are planning to join in is Def and Zekin from the Xset roster, which means Psycho has connections with them. And I'm really excited to see Def as the IGL and Zekin as the superstar of the team. He was really great on Neon and was honestly just his entry frags was ridiculous. Um, I'm not sure who will be the chamber player if Tens decides to stay or if he decides to leave, but Zekin is 100% probably the best option Sentinels could have gone with as an entry fragger with Zekin and his young talent. And speaking about Def, Def made a lot of great IGL calls um, on the Xset team. I feel like he will perform pretty well here in Sentinels, especially with the support with Psycho and Kaplan helping him out. So um, I have no issue at all with this two coming in. I feel like it's going to be a great fit inside the Sentinels. Um, I'm not sure whether or not Dapper will be staying inside Sentinels, but if not, I'm excited to see who does who they decide to bring in to build around these two players. Moving over to Global Esports in the APAC region. So they've released this announcement video pretty much saying that they're importing one player into the Pacific region. And this player in particular is more than likely Exet Aaron. So Aaron was the other IGL in Exet roster. And this is pretty much his highlight reel from the, the VCTs. They didn't 100% put him out there saying that it was him, but everybody's speculating that it is him because it is all the same exact highlights. And I'm excited to see where Aaron will take the global esports roster, which is the Indian team in the APAC region, and how he will fit up against the 10 other players that are on that roster. Some other interesting rumors inside the APAC region is Saya player. Apparently he is in Korea right now. And he has yet to be uh, yet to be rumored in NA, in NA teams. So I'm excited to see if Sire player decides to play for DRX or if he decides to go to T1 and join their roster. Or even Gen G um, is still considering since I just remembered that uh, they have not confirmed a roster yet. So I feel like the top three talent spots he can join is T1, Gen G, or DRX. I'm excited to see if Sire player can actually get a full time spot because I feel like he performed really well, especially on the jet. Before we go ahead and end off the video, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support lately. If you have not yet already, please go ahead and leave a like and comment on all these roster moves and what you think on them. And to finish off the video, the AA Pack franchising roster updates is currently looking like this. Talent Esports currently have four out of six players. T1 has five out of six. Dead Nation has one out of six with tryouts just starting. RRQ is two out of five with tryouts starting and Gen G tryouts are soon to start. I'm really excited to see the way this APAC region decides to take this off season and what players they can get. And hopefully they can perform just as well coming into next season in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and take care. Peace out.